For those who don't know you, can you introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Victoria Johnson, and I go by the um, artist name of the Sketchy Beast. Perfect. And what's your art background? Um, well, I formally trained and have a degree in graphic design mm -hmm. and commercial photography, but um, I've been an independent designer for many years, but that market's not the same anymore, uh, so I decided to go back and find art. Mm -hmm. And while I used to paint by hand, I am now a digital artist. Okay. It just seemed the logical next step. <laughs> exactly, I know what you mean. Yes. Uh, tell me more about your body of work. Um, I have a large body of work. Actually, I've only been a, an artist for going on four years now, a little under four years, and I have over 400 pieces of art. 400 because I have such a passion for it and there could be anything a song um, something I see and I'm making it into art so I I have an extensive body of art and it's just very random uh, whatever inspires me I'm painting it or drawing it and that re inspires your creativity yes it does yes it does it, it, it's like it never ends it's, it's, it's constant and everything else just gets in the way <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's great <laughs> Um, what motivates you to create? Um, as as I, I mentioned, um, it could be anything. It really could be anything. I'm very inspired by people. Um, a lot of my art features people. I'm just really inspired by people. And um, uh, apocalyptic themes, I'm very much into that because I don't see anything good about the world right now. I know that's awful to say, but I'm a very positive person actually. But I like to kind of mirror society. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my stuff might be jaded, a little bit um, dark. Mm -hmm. That's what kind of inspires me even though I'm not dark as a person. Okay. Well, what's your strongest influence on your work? Um, that's a hard question to answer. There's there's actually quite a few. I, I'm really drawn to street art. Mm -hmm. I really like street art. Um, anything that's very uh, earthy and, um, like I said, it's kind of a hard question for me to answer. But a lot of things that are um, non-traditional, I guess is the best way to put it. Great. Um, I have to ask this, I have to ask this question for, for every artist. Uh -huh. I'm always interested to see what they what their take on this is. Yes. How do you define success as an artist? It, it, every artist has a different answer, maybe. <laughs> um, I, a lot of artists I know, they define sales as success. It, that's not what I define as success. Success for me is just having the confidence to create and um, putting yourself out there. You know, I know a lot of artists who don't have a lot of confidence in themselves. So. For me, success is the fact that I keep moving forward. And every little um, achievement, I celebrate. So for me, success is just showing my art. That's a great attitude. I wish more artists would have that yes, attitude. Yes, because I, you know, a lot of people ask me, oh, does your art sell? It's That's secondary for me. I just enjoy the process of creation. Has your, has your style changed throughout the years, or the four years? A little, a little. While I did start with, um, you know, the same kind of theme, kind of dark and gritty, um, I have been adding some happier, <laughs> happier pieces to my art because I'm thinking my mom need, my mom's thinking I need therapy at this point. So, so she, you know, I've been adding, um, I'm very inspired by birds. I guess that was part of another question. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of birds and happy themes with them flying. So yes, I'm seeing a little bit of a more evolving towards more positive themes. Okay. But the, the dark themes will probably always be a part of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So how do you seek out opportunities opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? Um, now I'm constantly on social media, constantly mining social media. I see open calls throughout my feed. Um, call for entry has been a great source for me, resource for me. Um, that's just, they, they have calls from all over the world. And I apply, apply, apply. I apply, I work very hard at this. Okay. Um, and not that I could call it work, because I enjoy it. But I apply, apply, apply all the time. So and you, they just come my way. So you basically put in the work. I put in the work. <laughs> I don't expect it to fall in my lap. The secret to <laughs> success, put in the work. <laughs> I put in the work, yes. <laughs> okay. 
Now, what's your connection to Ontario and the surrounding area? Um, well, I've lived in Southern California my whole life. And I've always, um, I, I like the Inland Empire. You know, it's, it's hard for me to explain. I, I, I'm very drawn to de the desert. Um, and so I've been here all my life. So I know every area of Southern California and I have so many connections all over. Okay. Now, what do you enjoy the most about participating in, in Ontario's Festival of the Arts? The engagement. I have shown in a lot of places and I get the best engagement with people here. People are so interested in art here, and, and, and it's something that, you know, people, it, it even surprised me, and I always say that in a non-offensive way. I was very surprised at how interested people um, who come to this festival are in art, because I really haven't gotten there in, that anywhere else. Well, that's a great compliment it is. to your work. It, and it's a great compliment to this venue. Yeah. This is one of the venues that I really enjoy. I, because this is my second year, the first time I had such a great time, and this time it's just the same. Okay. You know, so many people talk to me, yeah. and that's what an artist likes. I can sell everything online, but the fact that people engage with me, I look for that. That's another part of my success, that okay. people engage with me, yes, and I get that here. Good, yes. and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next year. Yes, I will be here next year. <laughs> and, and, you know, and I really appreciate you taking the time out of yes. your busy schedule to yes. speak with me today. I don't mind. <laughs> and I hope to speak to you again yes. in the future, and I'm going to go visit your, visit, your, visit your booth. Yes, please. Before I leave here today. Yes, please do. See all the, all the, all the dark stuff that I have. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Stuff that I have. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll talk to your mother and then maybe we can have a, you know, tell her intervention. Need, yeah. We're going to do an intervention. That's why I tell her I don't need therapy. This is my therapy. <laughs> no, we're going to work on the intervention. Intervention. <laughs> thank uh, you so much. Well, thank you so much. And I, you know, like I said, I I really appreciate you taking the yes. time to speak with me today. No problem. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Take care. Okay. You got it, right? You got it. <laughs> now